So, you want a Halloween costume that's easy to put together, simple to wear, allows you to imbibe in the beverages of the evening at your favorite Halloween party, and has minimal assembly time. Well then, follow along, young apprentice, as I show you how to make the glowing hoodie. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's get started on this Halloween hack, a glowing hoodie. Uh, here it is the weekend before Halloween, and last night I wore that to a party, even though I felt kind of crappy because I caught a cold. That's why I'm all stuffy right now. You will need a power supply, for starters, and I used one of these little 6-volt battery packs that holds uh, four AA batteries. And, oh, by the way, it has a really neat little on-off switch built onto it. That's kind of cool. So come up with a way to put together a 6 volt battery pack. And I also use some of these uh, green LEDs that I have lots and lots of. Uh, I used these last year on the USB Christmas card. There's one being powered by a 3 volt coin cell. They're nice and bright. Now if you power these with 6 volts, just like they are without a resistor, you will burn them out. They, uh, they'll go pretty quick. But if we connect enough of these in parallel, it will dissipate enough of the uh, energy of the 6 volts that they'll all light up and none of them will burn out. So let's get started soldering together some of these in parallel, shall we? Okay, what we need to pay attention to here is the polarity of the LEDs and all LEDs, well almost all of them, have a flat spot on one side, that's the negative side, and there's also two different length leads. The longer one is the positive. So what we'll do first is we'll bend these over at a right angle and I'm gonna work with the negative side away from me and clip it into my little third hand holder here and we'll tin this up with a little bit of solder right up next to the LED. Uh, well, no, actually right here on the tip. On the first one. And now I'm going to take another one. And it will also bend that over at a right angle. Keep the negative that way. And then uh, I'm going to put it over here temporarily to tin the leads next to the LED up close. This goes pretty quick once you get working with them. Now I'm going to keep them about a half inch apart and then simply join these leads up with a little bit of solder. Okay, that's two. And we'll just continue on with the process until we have about, uh, I think I used 12. I'm duplicating the whole process because I already have the other one all built, but I'm pretty much just putting these together for you to give you an idea of how I soldered them together. And as I said, it does go pretty quickly. Okay, so there's three of them. You get the idea. You just keep repeating this until you get about 12 LEDs all put together. And you can use other LEDs if you want, I suppose. Um, I chose the green ones because I had lots of them around. Alright, let's power this up now with some voltage and see what it looks like. Connect the positive side here. Turn off the power supply. A little bit of residual voltage there. Okay. Now we're at 3 volts right here. And you can see how bright they are. Let me kick it up to 4.5. Pretty bright. Here's 6. Yep. See, it starts to tip the other way a little bit. So, like I said, when you put about 12 of them together, you won't need a resistor there. 
but just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and put a, uh, a resistor in line there. I'm going to go ahead and grab a, I believe these are, this is a 100, here's a 100 ohm resistor. We'll connect that up. Now let's turn it up to 6 volts. You'll see that's okay, but it's not as bright as it could be. I know that for a fact because I've used these before. Really, really bright. So, like I said, if we get enough of them together, I won't need the resistor in there and I can get maximum brightness. But whatever you have to do to work it out with your particular LED. And uh, now I'm going to show you the website where you can uh, calculate out all of this by using the specifications for the LED, how many you're going to use, and it will tell you what resistor you need to put in there. Alright, these are pretty much the LEDs I'm using, 10 millimeter jumbo green LEDs. These have a green casing on them, and mine don't, but the ratings are all about the same for these types of LEDs. They run on 3.5 to 5 volts, and we need to find a data sheet, and there it is. There's the data sheet. Two things we are interested in, the forward current, 25 milliamps, and the forward voltage, uh, 2.4 volts. Okay, so now let's go over here to the uh, LED series parallel array wizard. I will put the link to this in the description for the video down below. And what we'll do here is enter all the data, which I already did. 6 volts is our source voltage. You put that right in here. And then right here we will put the forward voltage, 2.4 volts. And the forward current, 25 milliamps. The number of LEDs is 12. And then let's design the array. And now down here you will see this is the way they want you to do it. It's basically a combination of series and parallel. We have two in a series and then those two are connected to six other groups of two in a series and they are connected in parallel and on each one of those two is a 56 ohm resistor now on my setup I did not do it this way I cheated a little I just put them all in parallel and put the uh, six volts on it and they ran super bright and they got kind of warm but they didn't burn out and I had them on uh, for about probably two hours last night uh, at the party and they ran just fine. Now you can play around with this and try more LEDs. Let's see what happens if we put 20 LEDs in that array just for fun. Well it just basically wants you to do the same thing you just add more of them. 56 ohm resistor on each pair of two. So there is a handy calculator for you for an LED series parallel array set up. Let's get back to the bench now. Let's take one more look at LEDs before we move along here. There's the diffused type. They have a frosty look to the plastic casing and then there's the clear non-diffused type which is what I'm using on this project. If you buy the diffused ones, you won't need to put a diffuser on the LED. If you use this style, you will have to put a diffuser on there. Now, <coughs> ah, like I said, I have a cold. You could use a ping pong ball, like I did on the uh, New Year's ball drop timer thingy from last year. That works pretty well as a diffuser, as you can see there. You could also uh, wrap a little piece of tissue around the LED and you could use something like this. Uh, I had this laying around. It's some white wire loom, which is rather unusual. But anyway, I had this white wire loom and I cut a piece of this and put my whole LED array inside it. Now let's fast forward to the final portion and that would be the hoodie itself and here it is and this is the piece that has the LEDs in it and you can see them inside there they're hot glued into place I cut out a section of this put them in place and then I put some black tape on the back of it which kept the light from shining up through the top of the hoodie 
And then I just put some hot glue right inside the hoodie and glued the sucker right in there, which is going to be a lot of fun when the time comes to wash this hoodie. I'm going to have to take this apart and I really don't know what's going to happen in the dryer. <laughs> I ran the uh, cord down the back and it runs down through the hood and comes out the bottom down here. And then it goes to the battery pack, which can go in your back pocket. And then when you turn it on, you get the pretty happy, glowy LEDs. Let's see what that looks like with the lights off. Wow, that's really cool. And it casts a very nice green, ghoulish glow all over everything. So, there it is. It's about that simple. And you just need a way to diffuse the LEDs and mount them up in the hoodie. So go get some LEDs uh, and get creative. You could use red ones, I suppose, too, which would look pretty creepy. Um, blue ones, whatever you want. Mix and match. You could hook an Arduino to this and make the colors fade through uh, a series of changing colors if you use RGB LEDs. So get creative. Have some fun. Happy Halloween. Until next time, <coughs> I'll keep on hacking. <coughs> Till this cold is gone. Bye.